I just want to run through and show some stuff that's going on and update on some couple uh, a, a couple of animals or whatever. Uh, it's been a long time since I've shot video, so I figured I'd do something. Uh, here's the female that laid a clutch, uh, the first clutch of this year. As you can see, she's putting on good weight, putting her weight back on fast. Bred it to a Mojave, she gave me seven good eggs, which are the eggs that I candled in my last video. Then I've got this female pastel. Um, she is absolutely looking gorgeous. And she's got, I believe it was six. Yes, I, I palpated six large follicles. Uh, she's actually due to ovulate any time now. I mean, her follicles are huge. So I'm waiting. Here's another female. Uh, I palpated her a couple weeks back. Uh, I could feel follicles in there. They're still small. And uh, she might try to take my head off here. But she does have follicles in her. I've been steady breeding her to a Mojave. Oh yeah, she might nail me. That's awesome. Which problem? the hell's your problem? I don't have any food. You just ate yesterday. <clears throat> and I've got this female Mojave. I've been breeding her to a uh, Mojave. And I don't feel any follicles as of yet. And I, well, I thought I felt some, but if I did, they're small. And uh, as you can see, I'm playing around with this uh, cypress mulch. I don't think I'm going to use it. I know a lot of people say that they love it, but I kind of like the uh, newspaper, unprinted newspapers when I'm going to actually. Let's look at that female pied. I absolutely love pides. Love them. If I could only keep one animal, it would probably be a pied or some kind of pied combo. And here's a female spider that I hatched out last year. Uh, 
uh, these videos might not turn out too, or this video might not turn out too good. The lighting in here is not that great right now. She's getting big fast, so she's an 09. And I believe the last time I weighed her, she was at. Actually, why guess? 300. What's that say? 387 grams. That was back in July. She's probably pushing 400 now. Getting big. And here you go. Here's her card. I don't power feed. So you got... She was fed three times in January. And only twice in February. So I could actually push her feeding up a little more. Ah, it's my only binding drawer in this rig. Let's take a look at that male pie that I picked up last year. I tried moving him up into uh, the juvie rack, and yeah, I left him in there for about three weeks, and he wouldn't eat. He absolutely does not like eating in those bigger tubs, so I mean, as soon as I put him back in a smaller tub, bang, I mean, he was all over him. Back to eating. So I'll let him tell me when he's ready to move up to a bigger tub. I also have a male butter that did the same thing. As you can see, here's here's the male's butter or the male butter's tub, and he absolutely will not eat in that tub. So I had to move him back into. Uh, just yesterday, moved him back into one of these baby tubs, and as you can see, he's you know probably a little big for this tub, but as soon as I did it, he was eating again. Let's look at another female spider from last year. I don't run off on me. Another pretty female getting big. She's up to just under 300 grams. Uh, what else do I want to show you? Let's uh, look at this female Dumarles staying on the hot spot. I'm about 99% sure she's going to give me some babies. Whether or not they're good this year or not, I don't know. Last year she didn't go at all. The year before that was the. Uh, the very bad day video clip when she slugged out on me, had two stillborns and countless slugs. But I have high hopes for this year. I think uh I think she's gonna do it for me this year. <laughs>